everyone and welcome back to Baby Month here at First Impressions Molds. My name is Kelly. Today we'll be demonstrating how to make the trees and clouds from our new 2015 baby line, as well as creating the final details to make these beautiful cakes. If you missed the previous steps, the links to those videos and all of the molds we are using will be listed in the description below, as well as instructions for you to follow. So let's get started. Here we have our cloud set and our cartoon tree set. They come in a variety of sizes to accommodate all of your decorating needs. We have the clouds here that you choose your size and then you simply attach to your cake with royal icing. We have our trees. It's important to make them out of gum paste so that they are firm in order to stand on top of your cake. When your gum paste is still soft, you want to insert a toothpick into the bottom, let it set up and dry, and then that way you have a way to attach it onto the top of your cake. All right, so to wrap up, we have shown you how to use our new line of baby molds in order to make these cakes. So we have used the babies, the hats, the blankets, the moon and cloud cake topper, the tree and cloud pieces, and now we are ready to finish the final bottom layer with ruffles and ropes. So you'll start with rolling out a strip of gum paste. You want one side to be straight and one side to be irregular. So you can move it around with your fingers to make one side irregular. And then using a cutting tool, make one side really straight. So now you'll take your rolling pin and the irregular side, you'll push thinner with your rolling pin, leaving this side, straight side, to be thicker. That makes it easier to attach to the cake. So now when you lift up, you have a straight edge and an irregular edge. If you think of this bowl as your cake, you'll start at the top of your cake, attach the layer to your cake, and then continue down until the bottom. And you want to make sure that your bottom layer has a very straight edge so that it has a nice straight finish on the bottom. So here you can see how we have assembled the cake using those strips. You start at the top, attach your top strip, and then work your way down to the bottom. The bottom is where you'll be sure that you have your straight edge so that it finishes off a clean straight line on the bottom layer of your cake. And then the ruffles bend out and they harden and they give that ruffle effect that you're looking for. So now we'll show you how to use the ropes for the boy cake. So here we have three ropes that we have made out of gum paste. For demonstration purposes today, we have rolled these ourselves, but typically you would use a clay gun and that's what allows you to have the different sizes of ropes. So use a variety of sizes and colors of whatever you choose. While the gum paste is still soft, you'll want to line these up, attach them to your cake with water or royal icing. And then when they're all attached to the cake, you'll use scissors to cut off the top to make a nice straight edge. So we hope you've enjoyed this quick tip video all about our new baby line of molds that you can purchase right now on our website, firstimpressionsmolds.com. And remember, this is just the start of some pretty huge changes coming to First Impressions Molds this year. So be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our newsletter, and share these videos with your friends and family using the links below so you don't miss out on any of our exciting announcements or giveaways. Until our next video, thanks so much for making your first impressions with us.